you join me in an incredibly frustrating frustrating dilemma. Yes. It's about this whole Balamenic Park thing and it's been getting heated, let's say. So, um, but first I want to sort of uh, talk about something very interesting that uh, happened just at my back lane. So um, let's go and take a look at it. So, as you can see, um, over here, underneath this hedge, there's been a bit of a scuffle compared to the other neatly aligned, um, but there's basically a sort of dip here, and down there is what used to be a wasp's nest, um, because there used to be wasps flying in and out of it, and on the other side is a bigger hole, and we find another wasp's nest. What caused this, uh, I think, is probably a badger. Uh, it used to be that this whole bit here was covered in dirt. And basically, and then about up here, I would say, there's my shadow, um, about sort of here, uh, there were some honeycomb honeycombs on the ground. Um, I didn't know wasps made honey, but clearly they do. Um, so a badger raided the two wasps' nest parallel to each other, and I think it was because recently, in there behind there, I um, was clearing that area for ivy, and I think we may have exposed the wasp nest and made the badger find it so it's probably our fault that the wasps were all killed um well not all killed but mostly and that all this rubbish is here so yeah pretty interesting so as you saw uh the badgers uh well one badger so i say um raided both the wasps nest and what was interesting about that there were two wasps nest probably the same colony i'm guessing um when i first found out about the um break-in um it, there was rubbish everywhere and dirt all along the lane and there were wasps flying in and out and as i said there were honeycombs on the ground and as i said i didn't know wasps made honey i thought it was only bees but clearly wasps make honey and badgers like honey so the badgers raided the wasps, getting the honey and therefore getting their food, which is pretty obvious. Um, but what I found interesting is because I was clearing up there not too long ago uh, for the ivy, because I was cutting out the roots and all, the badgers found the wasps nest, that's what I'm guessing. Um, it's also very interesting that the badgers were there. Um, Badgers are quite rare now, uh, so like so many other British species, like hedgehog and red squirrel. Um, but mostly because of roads, human activity, and uh, other species from America. For instance, the red squirrel and the grey squirrel. Grey squirrel came from America and chucked the reds out. Um, anyway, uh, time to get onto Balamenic Park. Uh, yeah, back to frustration. <laughs> So we're at Balamenic Park and the update is basically that the whole park was cut. Yes, the whole park. They didn't even agree to compromise, which is just stupid. They just cut the whole park, left nothing wild. It's now all completely cut. Now, I'll go up there and show you later. But what I really want to talk about is a, a poster over there. So, allow me to explain. Basically, that poster is saying how Balmain Park won an award for uh, basically the mark of a quality park on green space that's what it says right and it says keep northern ireland beautiful now this is awarded by green flag and when it was um 
uh, when it was awarded, it would have been when the grass was wild. And that poster does not have a right to be there now because the biodiversity is taken into the policy uh, of how the um, park is judged for the award. And Ballymere Park won it for the wild grass, partly. So that poster should not be there um, because wild grass made it look the beautiful. That's what it made it look beautiful. So it has no right to be there. Now, if you remember, the last video I did in the Ballymenic Park saga um, showed this whole bit here cut, and it still is, right? And but that half was long, as you can see now. It's all completely gone. So, as you saw in that little video, um, the grass has been completely cut, no, nothing left for a compromise, um, it's, yeah, I, I find it quite shocking actually, um, but let's go on to the sign, okay, so this was a wood by Green Flag, and one of their policies is biodiversity, right, and they judged it before the grass was cut, so I think that most of that, the reason they awarded that award was because of the long grass and now I think the sign has no right to be there because it's just it's saying something that isn't there anymore. In terms of what you can do if you haven't signed it already get over to change.org and sign the petition it's it may be useless but I it could it it could help and um, I'll put the link in the description um, then if you've already signed it that's brilliant but uh, talk about it talk about it and talk about it with your friends talk about it with your family and just have you know have a conversation about it talk about your views on the matter and just talk about it and make other people know about it so now I'm going to do a challenge and the challenge, I'm, the reason I'm doing this challenge is uh, to provide some entertainment for you so you can um, see uh, that it's worth saving Ballymenic Park. It's a sponsored nettle sting, though it's not really sponsored since nobody sponsored me, but you guys sponsored me because you're watching my video. Right? Okay. Uh, I don't really want to do this, you know. It does hurt. Um, I think I was just do it with my finger, touch one of these fingers. Not really. Hmm, maybe I need to do it with a different part. Let's try my elbow. As you know, I already got stung twice today. Once with one. Try this one. Doesn't seem to be working. Ah, jeez. Okay, that one hurt. That one hurt. Okay, so. Um, yeah. That one hurt. So, now I'm going to use the dock leaf quite quickly. And I'm just going to rub it. Like this. Uh, rub it. I don't really like self-harm. It hurts a lot.